Li Fang, so I'm a caregiver and feeder to 11 stray cats. Most of the stray cats is that I took over the feeding when the feeders move away. And um, so I'm also very active in doing PNR in the, in the area, it's quite notorious. And um, I also do to rehome the rehomable cats. Um, I'll start with Sean. Yeah, he's a very special, handsome cat, and he's an icon in the neighborhood. So um, I've seen him since my schooling days, ten over years. And um, until I move out of the neighborhood, I know that there are still people feeding him, so I still see him like once every week. To a point, he started to look very bad. He's very thin, losing weight, and loss of appetite. So. I was asking around the feeders, um, is anyone going to do anything about him? So they say yes, yes, they are going, but two months on, nothing's been done. So I took the lead and just took him away, and I don't know what to do. So I approached the AWG for help, and they promised they would help with the medical fee, and find him a house. Went to the vet. And uh, I was very, very hopeful. And um, the vet says, um, he's FIV positive. He has to be put down. And Sean is very alert then. I know he is not ready to go. So I disagree. And um, the AWG, I was threatened to pay back the vet fees. And they will cut me out of their group. And um, so they asked me to think about it. So I was sitting outside the clinic for two hours, sobbing. Do PTS or not do? If I agree with them, I may be able to save more cats. Or I may just find, find help for him. So. Um, some, someone will agree to take him in on the back day. Okay, so um, Sean ended up with the doctor and he's eating, he's drinking, he's happily moving about and he's also showing a lot of affections. So there's sparks in the eyes and he's happy to be alive. And um, he, subsequently he saw three beds and there was no medical basis to put him to sleep. I felt just based on one vet's review, because he's FIV positive, is very ridiculous. And when I asked, is he in a dying stage, she couldn't answer me. Is he in pain, she couldn't answer me. But he's eating at the vet clinic. So, and he's moving, he's very alert. So why should I put him to sleep so soon? So, um, after that they put me out, I was actually very sad because I've been with them for a while and resources are very tight money and foster wise so I thought this is it I cannot do more to help more space so um, actually the good things came and um, many people friends they came forward to assist me after that and surprisingly I continue to rehome more cats without this AWG Honestly, I'm very proud of myself and I'm very proud of the group of friends who is supporting me. And so, I would say Sean is a turning point to what I'm doing now and I'm doing it a bit more aggressively for him. Okay, because I feed at night after work, so I have come across a few problems. First is harassment. A man who has actually been monitoring my feeding schedule. So uh, he's been actually catching up with me for the past two weeks. So he asked questions like, oh, where do I live? Why are you feeding? Then I'm like, obviously I'm feeding because the strays are hungry. And uh, the last straw was when he commented on how I dress. I like, I like how you dress today. Very cute. I like. You don't dress like last night, it's not nice. So continue to dress like this, very cute. Okay, so I, it got on for about two weeks. I started to get very uncomfortable. So I asked a male friend to come along with me one night. And he saw my male friend and he asked, um, who is he? 
a lot of questions about where we stay as well. So my friend tried to explain to him that there's no need to help me and why are you helping her every night? Then this fellow told him that uh, I need to help her because she's very pitiful. She's doing all this by herself. So my friend told him she never asked for your help. You can stop doing that because she really doesn't like it. So, the, so we went to feeding spot number two after that incident and my male friend actually saw him following us and he actually, uh, my friend tried to approach him. He quickly made a U-turn. So we didn't approach him at all. We didn't chase after. Yeah. But I'm still continuing to feed the same area every night and if he still continues to follow me, I will be making a report. I believe this person is following me because it's quite late at night and there's nobody else around and it's usually I'm feeling alone. So he probably see me as an easy target to keep on. I will not stop feeling because of this um, incident that has happened. If things can happen to me, probably the worst that can happen to the cats. There are too many creeps around. The cats will be helpless, but I know I can always get help.